Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yashika. Today I am going to show you how to hide or show a section on any form. So I am going to show you on an incident form. You can do it on any form. So let's begin it. Let me open an incident or let me create a new incident. So these are the some mandatory fields caller and the short description. Let me fill it first and then save it. So after saving, you can see here are the four sections: notes, related records, resolution information, and the test one. Uh, this test one, how to add a new section or remove a new section on any form, we covered in our previous video. If you want to check out that video, I'll put a link in the description box so you can go and check out that video. So uh, now you can do. I'm going to configure how to hide or show this section. If I want to hide this test one on any particular condition, then I can do it. I can do it through the configuring client script. So for example, my condition is whenever the state is resolved of an incident. Then test one should be visible. Otherwise, it should be in hide state. Okay. So uh, first, let's configure the backend value of the resolved state. So just right, right click over the state and uh, configure show choice list. Okay. Search table for incident. We are working for the incident table. So on incident table, you can see. The resolved label has the backend value six. So go back to our incident form, and now we will configure the client script. Configure client script. So let's create a new client script. Yes, let's name it hide section. UI type all, and uh, what kind of client script? What type of client script we are using? We are using on change client script because on the change of the state value, the hide and show of the section will depend. So we are using the on change client script, and on change of which field we are using, we are using on change of state field. Okay, so let's do the scripting. If you want to save it as of now, you can do it. Let me save it first. Okay. Now we'll do the scripting. Okay. Uh, let's capture the value of the state. Dot get value. So I have created here a variable value, which uh, takes the value of the state. Okay. So now if value is six, then we have a function set section display. Okay. So we are using the function set section display. Which section we want? We want this one. Test one should be visible whenever the value is six. Okay. Now, if the state value not equals to six, then what will what it will do? Then it will hide that section. So again the same thing. Set section display section name and make it false. It will be hide. Okay, and just save it. Now again, open the incident what we have created. Okay, this one we have created. So, what we can see when I change the state in progress? Yes, it is working. Client script is working. Test one section get hide. Okay, if I put the state on hold, again it is in hide mode. If I put the state resolved, 
test one section is visible our client script is working perfectly if the state is in closed then again test one got height if cancelled then also it got height you can do it in the same manner on the different conditions whatever your uh, is your client requirement so i have showed you on the incident form you can do it on any form in the same way so hope you enjoyed the video you like the video if you like it then please like share and subscribe have a great day thank you